surgery today, buddy. Yeah. You got no idea what's in store. What are we going to do, mate? We might have to do you first today. <laughs> Just think about that. That's, that's fine, we can do that. Yeah. He yeah. is a bit more calm, actually. Yeah, it, as soon as I'm here, he, he, yeah. puts on, he gets nervous and he's a needy baby. It's alright. Yeah, he likes having me. Do you want me to watch? This is a fragment, that's old bone. Ooh, ooh, so it's a big piece. Yeah. Um, and so that would have been loose yeah. um, and causing some irritation. Um, there is arthritis there. I could already see how yeah. thickened it was mm. surrounding that area. But hopefully he'll be more comfortable once it's he's over the soft it? tissue. Yeah, bless him. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Steady, steady, steady. Nicely, steady. nicely. Should we pop you straight in the car? Probably, yeah. yeah.
you stay up today? You probably shouldn't eat, but uh, it's hard to keep you off his feet. Hello, you buddy. You are very good, aren't you? Maybe they're being all lonesome, not wishing to interact. Watch with that sly look. You think I don't see it? Hmm? Oh, I'm just so tired. It's like half past six in the morning. I went to bed at like one this morning, so I haven't had much sleep. I'm very tired. And I've woken up sick, so it's even worse. Some water? Oh, oh careful, careful. Hi. You be careful. Do you want a drink? You finished your food? No, nope, no, nope, there's a crumb over there. Not yet, I haven't. A drink? You're not having Dutch's food. Yes, he's gonna try. <laughs> I'm a lot iller than I thought because I just passed out on the floor. <laughs> I woke up next to him. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't think either of us are doing very good, are we? You be careful, please. Ooh, be careful. Be careful. Sit down, good boy. Oh, thank you. Oh, bad leg on. Oh, you be careful. Don't you fall mm. over on that leg. Oh. And back down he goes. <laughs> Look how swung on his foot is. It's huge. Don't you touch it. I wasn't really intending to, but now the, uh, was uh, chewing that is bandaging a lot. Don't you dare go down there. Sorry to remove it. So now he's wearing his uh, inflatable thing. His legs out. Good morning, little hula hoop. I'm so excited. No, no. Oh, what? Stop! No. Leave me alone. God. I'm The good news is that it is Tuesday, so we're very close to Friday. The bad news is Navi is starting to hurt now. He was doing a lot better the other days, but today is, looks like he's in significantly more pain. Um, right. His locks come should help with the painkiller, at least, because any problem is, oh boy. Any problem is, so um, you can only give it to him once a day, so that should help this morning. Well done. Well, that's me eating breakfast. Oh, he is a little pain. Do we on here, bud? This is soft on here. Let's take
I don't know what they're needed for. It might be to keep him stated while they um, stitch them. But they won't be able to because no. he's eating breakfast, so. Yeah. I don't know if they want to keep him in or, or yeah. what, so we'll just have to see what, what yeah. Jeremy says. Yeah. 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 So, he was supposed to go get his stitches taken out today. And, um, you know, um, I made note that he started limping about Tuesday. And I honestly thought it was because we ran out of Pardale, um, which is significantly weak. Um, it's, it's why he had to have six a day. Um, it's not very strong anti-inflammatory. But um, I kind of summed it up to it, it aligning with, with him running out of Pardale, and that was why he was on pain. Anyways, we go to the vet. He asked me how he's been. He asked if he's still limping, and I said yes. Um, I show him an example of him walking. And he says, oh yeah, that does not look good. And even though it's only been a week, you know, and this is this is surgery that, you know, it's supposed to take about a month to heal. Um, it, he doesn't look like he's doing good progress in regards to what he should have been. Um, I had to tell him uh, it, got some, it was okay until Tuesday, and that's when it got significantly worse, when he started actually taking his foot off the ground. Um, and they said, that that was really important um, information and so I had to go from the general clinic to the hospital which is an entirely different village away so I had to get a lift down there and um, then we got down and we got seen to very quickly luckily and Jeremy's um, Abby's surgeon vet and um, he's very actually quite committed to Mavi's situation um, and so he, he took him in very quickly had a feel for his limbs and said that there was um, a very noticeable clicking that was not there after the surgery which means that because Mavi was quite high energy and Mavi was continuously doing exercise that he shouldn't have been and it was really hard keeping him still and he'd still try and play with Dach and um, so He's saying it's very much like that because, you know, he couldn't really be stopped. That it's, it's quite likely that he's um, kind of pushed the injury a bit further. And so there's a little bit of swelling, but not much. There's no, no discharge. The wound's nice and clean. Um, so, but he wants to double check that there's no um, bacterial infection. And so what he's deciding to do is I had to sign over Mabby and that now Mabby's back at the vets and uh, he's going to take some fluid samples out of his joint, check the, um, the leukocytes or the, the white blood cells um, and basically check for um, the, the count level. He's back in and I don't get to get him until tomorrow morning. This is just supposed to be a a stitching procedure but um, he also wants to uh, after he checks the blood count he um, is going to if it's infected um, he, he's gonna put him on antibiotics for about six weeks just to stop any kind of uh, infection in regards to the wound um, and if it isn't then he wants to get him x-rayed just to see if he um, in case that like, clicking, he's hoping that the clicking is just the, the new bone um, edge kind of catching on ligaments. He's hoping that's just all it is, just a bit of tenderness. But he's concerned that there could be more fractures, which I cannot deal with right now. And if the x-ray suggests new fractures, then I've got to take him in again in two weeks' time to get another arthroscopy to go in between the bones and see where the 
joint issues are and, and what part of the bones are, are touching and just been told that you should just stay on his locks and come. I said there's no point giving him any more analgesics. Um, just because all it'll do is just make him incoherent and there's no point. It should be a waste of money. So he's just going to keep it easy. <laughs> and yeah, there he comes. That was me. You miss me today. You miss me. You can't climb into my lap. He says, oh, but you're talking, which means that you must be talking to me. I know. I missed you too. So to explain what happened, um, you know, Mavi got um, submitted in for the, those reasons that I um, stated earlier. But, um, I managed to get a phone call uh, later that night and um, they said that the fluid sampled went well. They'd taken a sample to, uh, under, the, um, under the lab and said that there was no sign of obvious um, infection. Um, they also took an x-ray and it looked very clear, um, although um, x-rays can be quite inaccurate when it comes to um, fractures. So. Um, the only way that we can really tell from here on if he has fractures is through um, an arthroscopy. But he said that he'd like to wait before he does an arthroscopy, so we're going to give him a week. Uh, he's got a week to heal up. Um, he's still on his loxicon. Um They've decided he doesn't really need any more Pardale. Um, and he just has to, because uh, it's the early days, uh, we just have to keep trying. And going through the days and try and reduce as much movement as we can. Um, and then, yeah, in a week time, we, we go for another checkup. And if he's still limping quite badly, then then they want to do the arthroscopy, which I really don't want to do again. Um, so yeah, that's that's about it for now. This is our first week of recovery, and um, now if there's anything. I'll stop day, I'll probably make another video. So, thank you for sticking around because <laughs> I know I'm quite boring. Uh, yeah. Here he comes. You jealous tot. Hey, you jealous tot. What are you like? Oh. 